Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's Flack Fire. How about that new trailer? Since you guys love frame-by-frame analyses, I'm digging deep into the new Battlefield 1 trailer. At the end of this video, I'll tackle one of the teasers leading up to EA Play, as there's a couple of things I want to talk about too. But let's get started. In this shot, an Allied tank has been disabled. Tanks in World War I were not reliable and were just as often put out of action by mechanical failures as they were knocked out by enemy fire. Germans are surrounding the tank, attempting to capture it. This German here has an MP-18 submachine gun. The tank is likely a British tank Mark IV. Note the unditching beam used to help the tank out of some muddy situations. This German is equipped with an M1908 Mondragon semi-automatic rifle. Note the snail magazine in this shot. He also appears to be wearing a splatter mask, which is used to protect the wearer's eyes from splinters and shrapnel. This shot obviously takes place inside the tank. The soldier's uniforms are British, and this is likely a Webley Mark IV pistol. This tanker is manning one of the Mark IV's six-pounder guns, and this officer is obviously the tank's commander. Here's a messenger pigeon. These were used to relay messages like calls for reinforcement or artillery to command, and I'd say that's exactly what this bird is doing. Here's a nice close-up of the tank engine, which does appear to be running, so this tank isn't all that disabled. Plus, a nice look at the Webley we saw close up earlier. It was not comfortable inside these tanks. Temperatures sometimes reached over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 50 degrees Celsius. In this shot, one of the German soldiers outside is sticking his Mauser C96 through one of the tank's firing ports, right past the head of the soldier we saw in the very first trailer. We now learn the soldier's last name is Edwards, so it's likely this is our first glimpse of one of our single-player protagonists. Here's the tank commander again. We can now see he's sporting a tank corps cap badge. This shot likely takes place in Belgium or France. British soldiers rush to man the tank. The tank appears to be supporting infantry, which was actually the standard tactic at the time. This infantry soldier is holding a Lewis machine gun. This is most likely a British Sopwith Camel. Note the colorful painting on the airplanes. I hope we're able to personalize our airplanes to this degree. I'm led to believe this more because this isn't the proper American insignia for the time. All of the airplanes in this shot are converging on a huge Zeppelin. Here's another look at the Mondragon rifle, and here's a heavy bomber. This is a French Renault FT-17 tank, and here's a German A7V tank, which could have a crew of up to 18. This is our first look at the bayonet charge mechanic in Battlefield 1. It also confirms bayonets as attachments for the MP-18. Again, the character performing the charge is African-American and probably one of the Harlem Hellfighters. The German here is wearing the Gata helmet. Here is a Beretta Model 1918 submachine gun. Also in the shot is a Rolls-Royce armored car. It looks like this shot takes place in the Middle East, denoted by the ruins. On this rifle, we see the same magnification scope that was on the Beretta. Not sure of the rifle model, but I'm going to guess a Lee Enfield. On this soldier, this uniform, and the hat in particular, look Australian. There's also a few barrage or observation balloons in the background. This soldier is holding a Hotchkiss light machine gun in a French alley. It's equipped with a spider sight and a 30-round strip magazine. Here we see a better look at the Hotchkiss machine gun. We're also able to see a soldier manning an artillery piece and showing off the destructible environment made possible by frostbite. The shotgun here is either a Remington Model 10 or a Winchester Model 1897 or 1912. Here we see an artillery piece repurposed for an anti-tank role. The uniform here is German. Here's another look at the Gata helmet from the side. This is probably a Harley-Davidson motorcycle and sidecar. Here's some gameplay showing off what it's like to ride in the sidecar, right into the side of a British tank. Here's a first-person view of getting into the tank, which is probably a British tank Mark IV. This shot, however, is from the inside of a Renault FT-17. This model is armed with a 37mm Puto SA-18 gun. The tank could also carry an 8mm Hotchkiss machine gun. These tanks are small and only fit two people when compared to the larger tanks. The tanks appear to be attacking a hardened military fortification in the background here. 
Also present is a large German airship and a Fokker DR-1 triplane. In this shot, we see the air-to-air -air rockets I mentioned in the first trailer analysis in action. This is the bridge of the airship, which is being piloted by a German player. You can tell by the uniform. Here, the German airship is falling to Earth. I want to point out that we know these baskets here can be destroyed individually. This one is falling away from the ship as it crashes into flames. Most airships at this time were filled with hydrogen, which is flammable, though tougher to ignite than what you would think. That is what the aforementioned rockets were designed to do. The soldier here is wielding a Mauser C-96 carbine with a buttstock and foregrip. As the airship impacts the Earth, it causes immense destruction. I will tell you right now, you don't want to be under it when it happens. Seeks confirmed. We can also see an axe in action, and there's a wrench here, along with, guess what, crutches. Here's a better look at that Australian slouch hat. And there's lots of spectacular flying going on here. Hopefully this is an indication air superiority mode will be returning for Battlefield 1. Soldiers here are loading heavy artillery, probably a British 60-pounder. This was a tough job as these shells weighed, not surprisingly, 60 pounds. Propellant was loaded separately. Here's a better look at that spatter shield I mentioned earlier. Also, we see the name of the tank is Black Bess. Hopefully, we will be able to customize the names of our tanks and other vehicles. I'm assuming the messenger pigeon is the reason these shells are inbound. The tank's commander seems to know it and is bracing for impact. This soldier is wearing steel plate armor. The group is attacking an armored train, and I'm not sure whose side they're on. The British would often attack Ottoman trains in the Middle East. However, the red stripe on the leg indicates a German soldier. I'm now going to look at the most recent brief teaser to mention a couple of things, but this is all I have for the main trailer. Here's a captured British tank Mark IV used by Austria-Hungary, as you can tell by the crest. Dynamite is also confirmed as equipment, and in this still, we see an improvised anti-tank grenade, created by binding the charges from several stick grenades. There's also an American handheld gas grenade, German Eier, or Egg, hand grenade, and a discus-type hand grenade. The M1915 discus grenade was not a very effective grenade, and it was very small. It would explode upon impact most of the time. The little pins sticking out here are percussion activated. And that will do it. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I'll continue to bring you more Battlefield 1 news in the future, so be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.